Welcome Sats Busters to question 21. Now although this is one of the last questions on the exam paper, there's actually a very, very simple way of doing it. Amina is making designs with two different shapes. She gives each shape a value. So we've got some hexagons and we've got what looks a bit like a pizza slice. Well, in the first arrangement of these shapes, we've got two hexagons and three pizza slices and that value is 147 and on the other arrangement we've got only one hexagon and three pizza slices but wait a second on both arrangements there's three pizza slices so the amount of pizza slices is the same on both arrangements the only difference between them is that this shape only has one hexagon and this shape has two hexagons so, in other words, there's an extra hexagon in this one. If you took out this hexagon, then the two diagrams would be essentially the same. You would have one hexagon in both, one there, one there, and you'd have three pizza slices. One, two, three, one, two, three. It doesn't really matter how they are arranged. You'd have one hexagon and three pizza slices in both. So what we're basically saying is the difference between the two shapes is that this has got an extra hexagon. So the extra hexagon must be the extra bit that takes it from 111 up to 147. So if we find the difference between the 147 and 111, that will be what the extra hexagon is worth. So let's work that out. So 147 take away 111. 7 take away 1 is 6, 4 take away 1 is 3, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So that's 36. So this extra hexagon must be worth 36. But wait a minute, all the hexagons are the same. So if that hexagon is worth 36, this hexagon is worth 36, and this hexagon is worth 36. Therefore, the hexagons are worth 36. Now then, if we take off this 36 from 111 whatever's left will be the three pizza slices so 111 take off 36 let's see where that takes us one take away six you can't do so borrow borrow from the one that becomes zero and the one we borrow makes 11 11 take six is five zero take three we can't do so borrow that one becomes zero and the one we just borrow makes that zero into ten ten take away three is seven so the three pizza slices put together must be worth 75. But that's all three of them put together. That's not each. So we need to split the 75 into three. And once we split 75 into three, we'll get what one pizza slice is worth. So in other words, 75 shared by three. Threes into seven goes twice. That's remained a one. And threes into 15 goes five times. So basically, each pizza slice must be worth 25. So that pizza slice is 25, this one's worth 25, and this one is also worth 25. So all the pizza slices are worth 25. Just to recap, the hexagons are worth 36, and the pizza slices are worth 25.